All right, so this is where I'm going to refine the drawing and add some clothing to the character. As you guys can see, I've got this basic sketch of the body, um, and I've also imported uh, some costuming I want on the character. I've just watched Ms. Marvel, so I'm a little bit in a Pakistani frame of mind. So that's the kind of outfit I'm going to give this guy. Um, and uh, so I've got the sketch on a on this layer here, um, and now I've created a new drawing layer um, because I want to add my refinements on a whole different layer just because you know I, I don't want to be bothered by my original kind of sketch marks as I as I kind of finish this up here um, so I'm gonna move in and start working on refining the facial features And you don't have to do like really, really complicated line art. You certainly can if you want, uh, if you want that look. Um, I'm just basically trying to establish some really nice art uh, to base my flat colors on. Just kind of drawing in the edges of his hair. Just making a more detailed drawing out of this. All right, now that I'm going to start moving down into where his costume would normally be or his outfit would normally be, it's culturally insensitive calling it a costume, um, uh, I'm going to start, uh, hide the sketch layer and kind of see where I am drawing-wise. find that a bit. All right, so now I'm going to look at the costume or the outfit that this guy's wearing and um, kind of use my imagination to figure out where the folds and everything will be falling. Um, so I'm going to start out with this collar and kind of get it loosely blocked in a little bit before refining it. Um, and I'm noticing that, you know, that he's got these different kind of border elements kind of coming down the center here. And I'm actually going to open this up a little bit as it, like almost as if he hasn't fastened it. So come down through here. It's really tight sleeves, but as you can see, there's a little cuff that kind of comes here. And I'm going to want to curve the clothing with the curves of the body. It's got a little design here on the sleeve. Like I said, I'm just going to open this coat that he's wearing up a bit. Now, as I kind of transition down to the leg, I'm going to kind of float the coat out a bit and kind of cut it down at an angle so it looks like it's kind of moving with the gesture of the form. The other side of the coat I'm actually going to bring down on the side of the leg like this um, as if he's kind of shoved it to the side so his leg can kind of get more freedom of movement here. Yeah. 
Um, and since this arm is really kind of foreshortened as I lay this cuff in here, I'm going to make sure that we can see the inside of it. And as I kind of articulate these basic folds in, I'm going to keep those going as if they're kind of extending around his arm to once again reinforce that idea that this arm is coming slightly at us. It's important that the clothing bends around the form. The form should not bend around the clothing because that's not how clothing works. Um, so I'm going to speed up the next portion of this video um, to show you kind of what this process would look like uh, upon completion of the, the line art.